Wow, hello everybody. Welcome back to my Filipino adventure. It's been a while and uh, there's a lot to talk about. Um, but this video is, I'm heading back to the Philippines today. It's now about noon and my flight leaves at 6.45 out of Detroit to JFK and then from JFK to Hong Kong and Hong Kong to Manila. Now, the reason we're going to the Philippines, for one, it's been a long time since I've been there. Uh, it's been a few years since this COVID lockdown. And um, two, Ina's daughter, Kate, had her embassy interview scheduled for May 25th, and she was gonna come over to the United States and join us. She's 21 now, so Ina had to petition for herself, which was a whole nightmare. It's a whole bunch of other videos. Um, but there was a problem. Ina flew over about three weeks ago and she met Kate in Manila and she was gonna be there to help her go through the process. Um, but when she went to St. Luke's for her physical, they found something called sputum, sputum in her chest, phlegm. So she didn't pass her physical. So her interview of the 25th was postponed. So she has to now wait till July, June 15th to go get rechecked. And if everything's good, they have to wait another month or two and then they can reschedule. So I bought her ticket and everything to come back with us, but now she's not coming back with us. I can't stay there for forever. So, um, so the kind of tri the trip, the reason for the trip was kind of a bust. Uh, we're not going to bring Kate back with us, but, um, but we had already bought tickets and Nina wanted to see her family. So we decided just to keep on with the trip and non-refundable. And, uh, oh, what a nightmare. So she's been over there um, for, like I said, about three weeks now. She um, spent a week or so with Kate in Manila. And now she's back in um, Niagara Occidental visiting her family for the last couple of weeks and, you know, enjoying time, bonding time with her family. She's in Dumaguete right now, bringing her mother in for some tests. She's got some stomach issues. And I'm all packed up and getting ready to go. So that's the update there. And I'm going to go for about three weeks and uh, we're going to hang out and just, uh, I guess, have a vacation, even though that wasn't the original plan. So now let's talk about what it takes to get to the Philippines. Now, I've been going there since 2017. This is my sixth, I think my sixth trip there. I think my first flight round trip out of Chicago was $550 round trip. And then it slowly went up from there. But the last time I flew, I never paid more than maybe $1,100 for a, a round trip ticket to the Philippines. But now things as crazy as they are. And plus I had to buy one-way tickets there for all of us so we could all fly back together. So I bought one-way tickets there and then one-way tickets back. So this time around, it's cost me about $2,600 per person. So the flights have more than doubled in price. So, um, you know, take that as you will. So if you're planning to fly to the Philippines, just uh, know that it's gonna be a lot more expensive than it used to be. It's still, I think it's still worth it because the trip itself is going to be pretty affordable when you're there, even though I heard prices are, you know, a little bit higher there. I know uh, some of the hotels have gone up some, but not, uh, you know, obscenely expensive. Just they've gone up some. Um, but here's uh, to get there. There's a few other things that I never had to do before. I just, you know, put my passport in my pocket, grab my luggage, and I was gone. I didn't have to do anything special. But now there's a bunch of hoops you have to jump through. And it's a pain in the butt. And especially for us who have flown before and didn't have to do this and now we have to do all this crap. Uh, I'm going to go over what it takes to get to the Philippines now. And I'm sorry the shaky camera, I can't find my tripod. So I'm, I know there's a tripod behind me but it doesn't have the attachment I need. So my arm's getting tired. Ah. So um, the things you have to do now. Um, first off, 
you have to go get a COVID test within 24 hours of your flight out of country. So now I'm flying to New York and then there's a layover. Um, so, and I don't think my flight leaves till midnight tonight. So I couldn't get my COVID test. I couldn't have taken it yesterday because it would have been expired by the time. So I took it this morning, thankfully. Ina's had to take hers the day before, but she had to wait later in the day to take it. So it would still be valid by the time she got on her flight to Manila. So it's just a rapid COVID test. I think this one cost me $120. It takes about 15 minutes. They tickle your brain with the... So you need to do that. Then you need to fill out what's called the Fill One the One Health Pass. It's You go online, you just type on One Health Pass, and you'll find it in Google, and then you fill out the forms, and it wants to know, you know, why are you going? What is your nationality? What is your passport number? What is, uh, where are you gonna be arriving? What terminal in the Philippines? And from where? What's your flight number? Um, and have you been vaccinated? Now, if you're not vaccinated, you can't go. Now, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You have to be vaccinated to fly. Now, we've been vaccinated since the start. I even have my booster, so I've got three vaccinations. So I had to take a picture of that, my vaccination card, and upload it to the One Health Pass, answer all the questions, and then I got this QR code so that I show them when I get to the airport. So I fill that up. Other thing you have to do is you have to get temporary health insurance from when you fly. Uh, at least $35,000 and it's got to cover COVID. Now the one I've got is up to 50,000. It covers COVID it's for the Philippines. It says for the times I'm there, 21 days or something, June 7th to the 27th. So this only cost me $31. This one was called World Trips by Lloyd's. Um, I just did a Google search and I found it. it's pretty easy. Um, but this is another thing you have to do. You have to show your health insurance when you get to the Philippines. You have to show your negative COVID test before you board the airplane. And you have to have a QR code from one health pass to gain admittance into the Philippines. And besides, I think that's basically it. That's, that's the new requirements. So um, if you wanna go, make sure you get vaccinated um otherwise you're not going and uh you'll need to get your rapid COVID test be within 24 hours of you leaving not just leaving your first flight because if your first flight is from let's say a u.s city to another u.s city and from that u.s city international it's got to be from when you're leaving international so look at your itinerary and make sure you know if you're flying at three o'clock but you're not flying out till later in the day. You have to make sure you're COVID, you have to time your COVID test that way. It's a pain in the butt. But luckily, mine's leaving tonight. So I went, there was no line, paid my money, took about 20 minutes or so the whole process, and they, and, uh, they give you a form. So I'm set there. Uh, your health insurance, you can get that at any time before you leave. You tell them what dates that you're flying and that's when the dates will be good for. Um, I've heard anywhere from 30 to $50 for, for the health insurance. So that's another added cost. The one health pass you cannot do, you cannot fill that out until at least 40, 48 hours before your flight. So I just did mine today, my flight leaves today. It only took me about the whole thing with looking up my flight numbers and and all that stuff only took me about, I think the whole thing took me about a half hour. And uh, passport, I think I'm all set. I'm gonna go a few, uh, uh, just a couple other tips too when I travel, I've been there quite a few times. Travel light, I just have a carry-on bag, right there, a personal bag. Um, a pair of shoes like these are great for walking around the beach and hiking. Um, they're thick enough where you can walk across rocks and you can walk across sand. Now I get these, I bring cash with me because they, you know, a lot of places don't take credit cards. So I get these, um, this is for my iPhone. It's a waterproof bag. And if you look at my older videos, I go over this and uh, I put the cash in there. I think I'm bringing about $2,500. My passport will fit in here. And I fold these up, they'll fit in there too. 
And what I do is I wear this around my neck, it's got a lanyard, and I tuck it under my t-shirt. So when I'm traveling, walking around, it's always there. No one can pickpocket me. No one can grab it. I mean, it, the stuff's pretty thick. Um, I always feel safe. Plus, I can even, if you're really paranoid, you can even take this swimming with you because it's waterproof. And then um, you can take the money and your stuff out and actually put your phone in there to do, um, you know, snorkeling and things like that. So these are really handy. Uh, and I suggest that um, it, I don't know, if you're like me, safety is important. It's, you don't have to worry about it. Plus in here, I'll also, I won't take my wallet with me overseas. I just take my driver's license, a couple credit cards, and my passport. And I'll put the, all those in here inside my passport. So this way I don't ever have to, was I filming any of that? I'll have to check to see if I was filming any of that. Um, I hope so. This is what it looks like if I wasn't filming it. Um, I couldn't see what I was doing there. Um, everything I put, everything I need important is in this and it's around my neck. And it's not cumbersome, it doesn't get in the way, it just goes right under my t-shirt. And uh, that's about it. Don't bring, you know, this is, this is totally up to you, but I always pack light. I just bring t-shirts and shorts and socks. You know, if I forgot something, they have everything there in the Philippines that we have here. If you go to a major city, like I didn't bring sunscreen because last time they confiscated it in in Hong Kong because it was too big of a tube. They took it from me. So I, I stopped bringing a lot of things I don't need to bring with me. Um because I can buy it there in the Philippines. And nine times out of 10, I can buy it cheaper there than I can buy it here. And uh, so that wraps, about, wraps it up, I think, for this. Um, I'll do some more videos, uh, of course, on the trip. Uh, we'll post those and we'll keep you updates on uh, uh, Ina's daughter, Kate, to see if she's gonna be able to come over here to the United States. And uh, that's it, thanks for watching. You know, stay warm, stay cool, whatever you need to do, but mostly stay classy.